What's up guys, uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use the recast shader effect on MME, Miku Miku Dance. Uh, that's supposed to happen. Okay. Uh, so I already have a preset thing that I do, which I suggest you also do if you want to use it regu regularly. I can pronounce stuff. <laughs> um, just so I don't have to load everything individually. But I will show you what each thing should look like and where what things you gotta load and all that. But it is a big file so it does take a while to load everything in so don't be alarmed if it's like taking a few minutes. And if it says not responding sometimes that's totally normal. It just needs a minute to process what it's gonna do. Alright, so it finally loaded. I'm gonna show you an example of what it should look like. Do a random model. Yep. So I will show you how to put everything the way it's supposed to be to get to this point. But once you load the model, it will look like this. So you want to go MME effects, mapping, double click on the model, accessory, effects, well wherever you put the effect actually, I put it where it's supposed to go. And then it looks much better. It's like the sun is here somewhere and just looks a lot better. So uh, I'll leave her there for now. So what you'll need is Ray controller, which I will show you where all these things are for me, which they will be for you if you put them in the right place. Under effects, the Ray M MMD 1.3.0, that's the one I use. There is an earlier version, not earlier, a later version, but I don't think that works as well. Uh, you'll need the Ray controller, which is automatically here. It is the PMX model. Uh, what I used on her was under main. You're not going to see it here because it's not a model. So what you're going to do is if you go here, you're going to load ray.x, which if you go to effects, same file, it is right there. Mine has a notebook symbol just because I don't know why. Uh, but that's where you load that. Then you need a skybox, which is located. They, it, should, it comes with a skybox, so uh, skybox, and you can really pick anyone you want. Uh, I don't remember which one I picked. This will show me though. I picked skybox HDR because there's no picture to it. Uh, like if you pick the Grand Canyon one, it will look like a Grand Canyon. If you pick the helipad one, it'll be a helipad. Uh, when you do the skybox, you d you're able to do the Grand Canyon thing without the actual picture showing up. But once you get the skybox in, go to environment light map, which is right there. Skybox, double click, and I will show you where this is. Skybox, Grand Canyon, and then the one you want is the sky lighting HDR. Uh, and the reason I'm not actually loading it by itself is because it takes too long, so I'm just showing you by telling you what it does and what to do. Uh, so yeah, main, you don't need an effect on the rig controller, that should be uh, HDR. If you go to tools, you have template, it's a, can I make this easier to see? There you go. Uh, under that, then tools, then this. Uh, this might be zipped in a file, so you have to unlock it. Or not unlock it, but you know what I mean. So yeah, it'll be here. Double click, double click, template, then skybox HDR. Uh, you want the main thing for whatever model you have. Uh, the ray doesn't need anything but the ray thing. And that is it. That's really all you need for that. Like I said, descriptions will be in the description as well. Links will be in the description. And I'm going to show you like what you can do with this. So if you go to the ray controller, you got all the sunlight environment different light. There's two for each, ones plus ones minus. Some you can't see the difference. Bloom threshold, radius, intensity, contrast, all these things. Temperature, I always do temperature because I like the blue. You see the difference. Uh, then there's balance of colors. And that's it for that. What I always do is, no, not that one. I always make the threshold go up a bit. So it's like kind of got a glow around her. And you want to make sure you register whenever you do stuff. 
sunlight, make it darker. Here, I'm gonna make this go down just so you can see. Sunlight. And to control the light, uh, you wanna do these things because they still control where the light goes. But there's also a thing you can do. Where's model? If you go to accessories, you go to effects. I need this to go back the way it was because it's bothering me. And you go to lighting. You can pick an actual light thing. So like directional light, directional light. Okay, that's got to load. So give it a second. But as you can see here, you can change the red, green, blue range. Okay, where is it? Move. Uh, and you probably want to make it so it's not visible, so there's no little shadow in the background or square. But it's kind of hard to see on this actually. But intensity, hardness, blank range. So yeah, those switch between these two things. But uh, I remember I used one of these directional lights in the Liar Dance MMD video I made. I will put a picture somewhere uh, towards the end of the video of that. And I put it towards where the moon was and I had it direct on the back of them. And so like it was very bright here, but then like darker, like normal natural light. Uh, so yeah, I'm not the best at the directional light thing, so delete that. Uh, but yeah, that's MMD effect. MMD effect, wow. That's a raycast effect. Sunlight, sun shadow. Some things you won't see right away, because like, depends on other things, but like, multi-light, no. Do you know that if you do this, that gets darker, lighter. The first one's always plus, the second one's always uh, minus. There's also on here you have exposure, very bright, or very dark. I use this a lot where it goes like to black. Uh, vignette does that kind of cool effect. Get that out of the way. Uh, dispersion. Uh, not sure what this one does. It just means less. And then that again. T opposite temperature goes that color. I use that in Throne a lot. So yeah, that is it. If anyone has any questions, uh, I will answer them in the description. I'm not the expert on this, but if I didn't explain something, I will clarify. Uh, so yeah, just to show you each thing. Now I'm pretty sure when you get, because I got this a while ago, when you get the Raycast Effect file, it should have these two here, they might be zipped, like I said before. So you'll have to right click on them. They're not going to show on here. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, right click and then extract all. You can use Z zip. Z zip Z 7 Z, whatever that thing's called. Here, I'll do it on here. Okay. But like, Z zip file, extract all. Or you can use Z zip, extract two. So yeah. Any questions, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoy the MMD videos I make. Uh, none of the motions are mine unless I say so. They're all the description credits. All the credits are in the description. Always, unless I can't find it, then I say if the zeros tell me, because sometimes I lose track of how many things I have. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Like if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Check out this video to see what I mean by the uh, recast effect for the moon thing I was talking about. And links in the description below.